guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another great video for you today. It's not the haul video that I promised last video that I posted, but it's still really good, I promise. It's actually an unboxing video. Well, I'm not really sure if it's an unboxing because I'm not really taking anything out of a box. Well, I kind of am, but you, you'll see what I mean. Plus, it's also another autograph success. I can't believe that I'm already posting another autograph success after the last one. Well, I guess it's not that soon because technically the last autograph success that I posted, I had gotten them almost a month ago and I had just hadn't had time to post it. But anyways, so the unboxing that I want to do, it's more like unpackaging, is for the Divergent movie that just got released. I pre-ordered mine off of Target about two or three months ago. Typically, I always pre-order off of Target because I think they have the best deals and, you know, you usually get um, extra content or something really nice like a poster. So I always go with Target. Although, um, if you like the steel books, then Best Buy is the best way to go. And a lot of the time, Best Buy has pretty good deals, but I always like the little extra things you get with their pre-orders. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. I got the one that's with the Blu-ray DVD and the digital. I always get it with the digital because I like to put it on my iPad. So when I travel, I have something to look at. So as you guys can see, I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to go ahead and open it on camera. And if I can find my scissors. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just start off with, I guess, this corner. Mm. I don't want to ruin the packaging. I think that's enough. Yeah. So I don't remember how much this was. I think it was something around $24.99. And seriously, don't want to open it. There we go. And the pre-order came with a fleece blanket, which I'll show it to you guys in a few minutes when I get it. And this reminds me a lot of the packaging for the Catching Fire movie. Same type of thing. Comes with like a little plastic sleeve and this little piece of information cardboard. You can peel it off if you want to, but I like to leave it on. And it's a, I'm just going to read what it says in the back. It says a three disc collector set. Includes a film on Blu-ray and DVD. Over two hours of special features plus 45 minutes of exclusive behind the scenes content. Includes temporary tattoo sheet. I probably won't use the temporary tattoo sheet, but that's what it looks like on the back. And I'm going to, actually this comes out a lot easier than the catching fire one. This is what the plastic sleeve looks like on its own. It says divergent. It has water here on the, it looks like water painted here on the bottom. Uh, this is what it looks like on the back. This is what it looks like on the front. And it's, yeah, it's actually, not looking at it, it's identical to the catching fire set from Target. It comes with two little inserts. This is the temporary tattoo sheet. Like I said, I'll never use it, but hey, something more to add to my Divergent collection. And then this is just... Oh, actually, this is my digital download. I hope you guys didn't see the code. Don't try to steal my code. But it's my digital download code. And it just talks about the different books that are in the Divergent series. And I'll just do a little quick run through. I hope you guys can see that. I hope that there isn't too much, like, reflection coming off. Oh, I like this one in the back. So there you have it. This is the Target edition. I actually, I'm not going to lie, I went out because I do like the Steelbook from Best Buy. And I purchased the Steelbook today. So I actually have a second digital copy. And this is also the Blu-ray DVD and a digital copy. And I'm going to go ahead and open that one for you guys too. So just give me a second while I try to open this. Where did you guys order your pre-orders if anyone out there actually bought them? I used to really like buying from Walmart but I don't know lately the stuff that comes with the pre-orders is kind of like whatever. I don't even know if this came with anything and I think I already said that before. So it's kind of the same idea. We got the little piece of cardboard that you can take off. It's not really glued on anything like that. I leave it on. So this is what the back of the steel book 
from Best Buy looks like. And actually, if I were to, I'll take it off real quick. If I were to take it completely off, it just has the different faction symbols on the back. So that's what it looks like on the back without the little cardboard. I'm going to put it right back on. I don't know if you guys already got a glance at the front. Oh no, it doesn't want to stick anymore. Oh, well, figure it out in a minute. Oh, okay. If you get the Best Buy Steelbook, you will also get the sheet of temporary tattoos. The same exact insert for the digital download. And then the inside's pretty simple. It's just got two DVDs. One with Tris, one with Four. So there you have it. That's the steel book. I didn't go get the Target one. At, I'm sorry. I didn't get the Walmart one. I think I saw it today when I walked through Walmart. I was doing some shopping, but I didn't feel like picking that one up. I like, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of a snub. I like the ones that look special, interesting looking ones. And the one from Walmart is just not my type. But if anybody got it, like, share with me. I would love to see what it looks like. So... That's what the DVDs from Target and Best Buy look like. And this is what came with the Target pre-order. And it's a fleece blanket. Don't think you can get this anymore. It was exclusive for the pre-order. But I imagine that there must be people out there selling it. So it was a pretty good deal because I got the DVD and the blanket for $24. Uh, usually the blanket by itself is $24. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. If I can figure out where the opening is. What really surprised me is when I pre-ordered the Catching Fire movie, it came with a blanket. Not a blanket. Sorry, blanket, blanket. <laughs> it came with a fabric poster, but the poster didn't come with the movie. I remember getting the movie and thinking like, what the heck, where's the poster? And I called Target and they're like, no, we're sorry, we usually mail out the extra thing separately. But in this case, it came in a big box and I was really surprised because I was like why did I get such a big box I wasn't expecting anything and then when I saw it was from Target I figured it was the movie so here's the blanket oh I don't want to unfold it I feel like I'm messing it up but I it has what is it oh it's a four blanket okay I think I already have a blanket like this you guys will probably see it in my haul video so I know it's kind of hard to see but it's four and I'm not going to completely open it because then you won't see it, but it's, it says four. And it has a different faction symbols on it. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty soft, actually. I'll probably use it in the colder months. Right now it's really hot, not really worth using it. But that was a nice little extra. So there you have it. Those are my movies that I got, the new Divergent movies. If you guys haven't gotten it yet, go out and get it. Check and see if anyone on eBay or maybe Amazon is selling the Target edition with the fleece blanket if you want the blanket. Or if not, go ahead and get the Best Buy version because the seal books are really nice. They look really good when you uh, set them up in your collection. I have all my movies lined up under my entertainment center. It looks pretty good. The next thing I wanted to share with you, like I said in the beginning, is another autograph success. And this one came from Willow Shield. I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry, if I look like I'm looking behind is because I'm just trying to see if there's too much glare. I sent this out on March 31st and I got it back July 31st. So I got it back about a week ago. Four month wait, not too bad. But I'm happy and grateful but a little bit disappointed. I'm not sure if you guys can see because I have them in the little trading card protectors but actually it looks better on camera. I don't know if she used a sharpie that was getting dry or if it was something about the card but the autograph on this card I don't know how to explain it it almost looks like when you take a marker and you try to write on something plastic and the ink kind of just disperses that's what it kind of looks like I'm not sure if you guys can see but the autograph is really it's faded I mean you can see that it's there but I don't know. I'm kind of OCD, so the fact that it looks like that kind of bothers me. But like I said, I'm still really grateful that she was nice enough to answer to my request. So she signed this one for me. And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and take out the plastic because 
there's less glare that way. Uh-oh, doesn't want to come out. There we go. And then for this one, kind of the same with the Veronica Roth thing, I have kind of wanted them to sign on the, what do I call this, like the portrait verse side, the horizontal side of the card, I'm not sure, the longer side. But she signed it on this side, and it's kind of hard to see the autograph because she autographed in a black sharpie, but it's there. You can kind of see it. Not really. And again, because of my OCD, and I know this is so stupid, I'm, I'm trying not to sound like I'm complaining because, you know, they don't have to reply when you send, you know, a request. Celebrities don't have to send you anything back if they don't feel like it. But she scratched my card. Or someone that was handling my card scratched it right here. I don't know with what. I don't know if it was like a paper clip or something. But it's right there. And it's funny because it almost looks like it's part of the card, but it's not. It's like, oh, it drives me crazy. But <sighs> I don't have to get over it. She was nice enough. So there you have it. I got another autograph success. Um, as far as I know, she is signing authentically. I haven't heard from anyone that these are fake so if you like the hunger games if you like willow shields plays rose who plays primrose everdeen then make sure to write to her as soon as possible your wait time is going to be around four to six months but that's really nothing um hopefully she won't sign with a marker or not a marker but a sharpie that's running dry but I guess the only comfort I have is that other people that sent to her around the same time had the same exact issue. I have thought about maybe sending her something else, but again, that's just kind of me being greedy and annoyed with something stupid. The fact is, you can see the signature, and I think it actually looks better on camera than it does in real life. <sighs> I know. I'm being picky. Anyways, I am working on the haul video for you guys. I promise that I'm going to try to post it as soon as possible. It's just life gets busy sometimes and I wish that I could film more often but sometimes I can't sorry about that guys apparently my camera found me so boring it just stopped filming on its own uh, please do leave me a thumbs up if you like this video always leave me comments below I like to know what you guys think about the stuff that I show you or say or if you had a really good time please do think about subscribing to the nerd panda family Anyways, I gotta go now. Hopefully, I will have the haul video up by the end of this week or maybe sometime at the beginning of next week. See you guys later. Bye!